Hi everyone. Today we are talking about one of the compilers of embedded devices. This presentation is a part of assignment under the course Compiler Construction for our 3 to semester. Our team has four members: Mohan, Karthik, myself, Sharad, and Vamsi Krishna. Coming to the origin of SDCC. SDCC is a free open source retargetable optimizing standard C compiler suite originally written by Sandeep Datta designed for 8 bit microprocessors. It is distributed under GNU general public license. The package also contains a linker, assembler, simulator and a debugger. SDCC uses a modified version of ASXXXX and ASL link free open source retargetable assembler and linker. SDCC has extensive language extensions suitable for utilizing various microcontrollers and underlying hardware effectively. As of March 2007, SDCC is the only open source C compiler for Intel 8051 compatible microcontrollers. In addition to micro specific optimizations, SDCC also does a host of standard optimizations like global sub expression elimination, loop optimizations, copy propagation, dead code elimination, jump table switch for switch tables. What is the target hardware of this SDCC? SDCC is originally designed for 8 bit microprocessors. The current version targets Intel MS51 based microprocessors, Dallas DS80C3980 variants, Freescale, Zilog Z80 based, uh, Rabbit Toshiba TCLS, Zilog EGZ3, ST Microelectronics, Padul PDK1415. Uh, it can be retargeted for other microprocessors. Support for Microchip PIC and Padul PDK13 is under development. Supported hosts include Linux, Mac, and Windows 32 bit and 64 bit, uh, respectively. The supported C level high language. For what high level languages does it work? SGCC aims to be a conforming, freestanding implementation of C programming language. SGCC suite architecture. The suite is a collection of several components derived from various sources with different licenses. Uh, SGCC compiler is licensed under GPLv13. The code or object files generated are not licensed, so they can be used flaws or proprietary applications. SDCPP processor, preprocessor, it is derived from GCPP preprocessor under GPL with license. The assemblers and linker, uh, derived from ASXXX and ASLink respectively and have GPL with license. Uh, the runtime libraries include a majority of uh, are under license GPL with LE, which allows linking of SDCC runtime libraries with proprietary applications. Uh, the utilities, archive managing and indexing utilities are derived from GNU bin utils, which have GPL v3 license. Uh, USM simulators, uh, these have GPL v2 license. Uh, SDCMB debugger, uh, the source debugger under GPL v2 license. GCC test regression tests, derived from GCC test suite and no license explicitly specified. Pack IHX, the tool to pack uh, index, Intel hex files and license under public domain. Makebin, a tool to convert Intel x into a binary Game Boy binary image file. Uh, libraries, debuff library with Z zlib and lib png license. Boo C++ libraries. Architecture. For single source file 8051 projects, the, uh, the process is very simple. Compiler, assembler, link, compiler, assembler, linker and uh, yield the following output files. The files created by compiler source file dot asm assembly source file is created by the compiler source file dot adp when debug option is selected an intermediate file is generated by the compiler containing debug information needed to create the dot cdb file by the linker files created by assembler source file dot lst assembler listing file created by the assembler source file dot sym symbol listing for the source file created by the assembler source file dot rel the object file created by the assembler input to linkage editor. Files created by the linker. Source file dot rst assembler listing file updated with link edit information created by linkage editor. Source file dot sym. And finally, we get a .omf file with DGAM information generated to go with it. The steps. Uh, schematic of its architecture clearly showing the input and output of each and every phase. Different phases and representations are shown here. Parser, iCode generator, code optimizer, live range analyzer, register allocator, code analyzer. 
for parser input is source code output is ast file for i code generator input is ast file output is a three operand form for code optimizer input is an i code output is optimized code library analyzer takes input as optimized i code and its output is the lifetime of item variables which goes into the input of a register allocator and the output there is register allocation the code analyzer takes optimized i code and output is assembly code internals of the compiler the current version of sdcc can generate a code for intel 8051 and zdt mcu it is fairly easy to retarget for the eight other 8 bit mcu here we take a look at some of the internals parsing parsing the input source files and creating an ast this phase also involves propagating the types and annotating the tools there are some mcu specific parsing rules this phase is largely mcu independent syntax and semantic checks are also done in this phase along with some initial optimizations like back patching labels pattern matching optimizations like bit rotation etc generating i code i code is a term given to the intermediate form generated by the compiler in this phase the ast is broken down into three operand from which are represented as doubly linked lists some of the i code operations are generated on mcu specific manner the intermediate code generation assumes the target machine has unlimited number of registers and designates them with the name i temp optimizations bulk of target independent optimizations is performed in this phase this phase can be broken down into several sub phases uh, breakdown into breakdown intermediate code into basic blocks do control flow and data flow analysis on basic blocks do local common sub expression elimination then global sub expression elimination and dead code elimination loop optimizations if loop optimizations cause any changes then do global sub expression elimination and dead elimination again dead code elimination again We also have live range analysis during the i code phase, uh, intermediate code generation phase. The compiler assumes the target machine has infinite number of registers and generates a lot of temporary variables. The live range computation determines the lifetime of each of these compiler generated temporaries. Uh, each i code is assigned a number in order of its execution in the function. Live range analysis is essential for register allocation since this computation determines which items will be assigned to the registers. Register allocation. The register allocation determines the type and number of registers needed by operand. In most MCUs, it's only a few registers can be used for indirect addressing. Some MCUs have accumulator, a very short-lived operands could be assigned to the accumulator instead of a general purpose register. There are two parts to register allocation. The first part is called register packing. In this case, several MCU specific expression folding is done reduce, to reduce register pressure. Second part is more MCU independent and deals with allocating registers to the remaining live ranges. Uh, and finally, we have code generation. The code generation involves translating the I-code operands into corresponding assembly code processor. This is the essence of code generation. This phase is entirely MCU dependent and very little of this code can be reused for other MCU. The strengths of this compiler. Uh, we, finally, we see strength and limitations of SDCC. Strengths. SDCC 3.6.0 tends to generate slower and bigger code but it is ahead of standard compliance. In other compilers are Windows only. Uh, while SDCC works with a variety of operating systems, only SDCC is free. Uh, the compiler is passed through daily snapshot to build and compile checks called regression tests. These tests check that SDCC itself compiles flawlessly on several host platforms and checks quality of the code generated by SDCC running code uh, for several target platforms through simulators. It provides the feasibility to able to change a new target platform without having to adopt a new tool chain. SDCC has extensive language extensions suitable for utilizing various microcontrollers and underlying hardware effectively. Uh, it does not limit the users to a specific host platform, instead allows them to use a host platform of their own choice. Uh, among them include Alpha, Mac, uh, MIPS, Spark, Windows and eventually OLPC. The debugger allows you to debug both C source at the ASM and the uh, ASM source level. Coming to the limitations, GCC uses 32-bit ints while SDCC uses 16-bit ints. Therefore, the results are different leading to inconsistency when compared. Support for assigning, passing and returning struct and union is still missing. Uh, and variable declarations are still restricted to where Z90 allows them. The port to Freescale, Motorola HC08 and S08 are not, does not yet generate code as compact as generated by some non-free compilers. Cyclomatic complexity. Cyclomatic complexity of a function is defined as the number of independent paths the program can take during the execution of the function. Uh, if the cyclomatic complexity reported by SDCC exceeds 10, its performance depletes. SDCC runtime libraries provide incomplete support uh, in PIC 14 and PIC 16 devices backends. Uh, 
the references 